I don't understand any of these comments. What's up? Well, my English teacher wants me to incorporate the dash mark in my writing. I don't even really know what that is, let alone know how to use it. Sounds like you need to read the elements of style. What's that? It's a great handbook on grammar, mechanics, and writing well. In fact, I'm pretty sure the book has a section on the dash. Uh-huh. Here it is. According to Strunk and White, a dash is a mark of separation stronger than a comma, less formal than a colon, and more relaxed than parentheses. Makes more sense. So when exactly would you use the dash anyways? Coming from Strunk and White, the dash is used to set off an abrupt break or interruption and to announce a long a positive or summary. In other words, the dash is used to let the reader know you're taking a slight detour off your original train of thought. Writers also use signal differences in tone. So where exactly did the dash come from anyway? No one's sure of its exact origin. The word's etymology is probably Scandinavian, meaning to be. You did a good job clarifying everything. Couldn't have done it without Strunk and White. Could you walk me through some examples of using it correctly? Yeah. Of course. Here's an example from Arthur Miller's play, Death of a Salesman, in which the main character, Willie Loman, struggles to achieve his American dream. This excerpt from page 62 originally had dashes. I replaced them with commas to compare the effectiveness of each. This is the correct usage. Willie said, banging his hand on the desk, I averaged $170 a week in the year of 1928. And your father came to me. Or rather, I was in the office here. It was right over this desk. And he put his hand on my shoulder. This is the correct usage of a da dash because it puts emphasis on specific words and key points in the sentence. You understand now? Oh. We're going to have to go see Miss McGinn. But as stated in the Elements of Style, uh, use a dash only when more, a more common mark of punctuation seems inadequate. To be able to make the choice between using a semicolon, colon, comma, or dash, you first need to know the function of each of these punctuation marks. Semicolons create more separation between thoughts than a comma, but less separation than a period. They are often used in lists that, that already have commas. Announce, introduce, or direct attention to lists, nouns, quotations, or explanations. Keep in mind that there are two different types of dashes that people often confuse. There is the end dash, which you use to hyphenate a word, and the m dash. They're the width of an n and an m, and that's how you remember it. The dashes we're talking about are m dashes. Dashes are used to bring emphasis to a sentence. They can be used in the same place of a semicolon or a colon, but they just add more emphasis. They're usually used in informal writing, so use them sparingly in formal writing. The first example, food, drink, and decorations, that's what the party needs, is correct because the list of words comes before the dash. The second example is incorrect because the list of words come after the dash. There should be a colon in the second example. Okay, statement one in this instance is correct with a colon because it indicates a quotation that has been formally announced. The usage of a dash in this situation is incorrect. The first example in this instance is incorrect because the phrase a golden retriever should be in between two dashes, not just one. Now take what you've learned from this lesson and apply it to this sentence. I went to the grocery store today. I bought a ton of fruits, apples, grapes, and pears. You should, your answer should be something like this. If you did not get this answer, discuss why it was incorrect.
sentence is awkwardly phrased. Place the dash to make it more fluent. This is the correct answer. The placement of the dash gives the and soon emphasis. This quotation by Mark Twain has been modified incorrectly. Fix it. This is where the dash was intended to be. It represents a change in dialogue and a pause. Should this dash be here, replace it with an adequate punctuation mark. The dash has been replaced with a colon to introduce the list. Do you understand that? I think I do.